Kapow! A little comic relief for you. A little comic relief for you during all this ballone. You know, we should have known. But it was foreshadowing. <laughs> when we ran out of TP, and that bullshit was on the way. Oh goodness. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go be gonna go be go be goo. How are you? I, I tell ya, I'm tripping out. I'm looking at you guys through glasses that I found that used to belong to my daughter. And what you see is rainbows everywhere. <laughs> so don't drive in these. Oh, it's not advised. Kapow! That could happen to you. <laughs> Uh, instead, what you want to do is wear them going to and fro and breathe through your nose like you're doing yoga. Why is, that, why is this? Why is this? I'll tell you why. Because if this, the dangerous one, the, the, the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, not the good kind. Not our beloved or Mother Earth you know, Vivi, or a woman spreading her legs, you know. No, not that good. Yeah, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. The one that has people looking like this. <laughs> oh, my God. Medusa. Operation Medusa. You know, um, there was this video, and it was um, Sylvie of, of New Earth had it unlisted, and I got notified because I'm in her email list. And she only had it up for a few of us to read, I guess. Because um, she's so intuitive. She works on that level. So, um, the information I gleaned was that she said what needs to happen is for the masks to come down. And that the app would do it. And over time, millions would be using it. It would be something that they held in their hand or something. I mean, that it was free. That people all went and got it. Isn't that right? <laughs> the mask will come down. Look how blue and beautiful her eyes were. are. I know she's not real, but um, she used to look like... <laughs> you know, that's the amazing thing. What do you uh, she used to look like this when she first heard about this. Oops, I don't want to crush my glasses. Um, this is what everybody's faces look like. <laughs> They're like, ah, 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 when they first heard about this, right? Oh my God, I, 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 oof. I felt all this energy. I was like, there's more going on here. We're receiving stuff too, but also, um, it's not like the new cage of religion where they're like, oh, the next beam's coming in, the next downloads are coming in. Ooh, ooh, it's like, okay, just tune into the earth and sort of get what you're going, and uh, it's like you don't have to be thinking that you're getting downloads. How about this? How about she's giving you uploads, my friends? The energy and the information is in the earth. It's not coming from up there. It's not coming from our, from our star family. That's the new cage religion. Mm -hmm. So why do you think they're trying to destroy the ones that they have already established and have raped and all that? Anyway, so <laughs> this is what they all look like. And, uh, you know, I just felt like after a while, you know, if we saw in mass, like I'm talking about the sheeple and the sleeple, if they saw what the news people really looked like, sort of like the portrait of Dorian Gray. <laughs> he finally, fin finally, finally, thankfully, um, he was revealed for what he was. It was about the painting, the uh, portrait of Dorian Gray. He did awful things, cruel and inhumane. Sound familiar? <laughs> he, 
He was inhuman. He caused great struggle and strife for people unnecessarily. <laughs> if he hadn't messed with them, they would have, they would have had a well enough life. What? No. So um, we have to. We can go back to work. I can go back to my little shop, and I can work as long as I wear one of these, as long as I comply. Or I can go underground. So the ground is where the information comes from. When you tune into the wisdom goddess, she holds the information. I caught wind, and I'll link it below, how it is that we have those pyramids here and they're four-sided. Because they were designed to bring the energy and the information that's from the cosmos, from creator, from creation, in, and then it's channeled into the earth center. That's why you connect to the earth center. So, I <laughs> Yep, kapow! <laughs> hey, where are those glasses? I want to put them on again. I was having a lot of fun with those. So, um, I got this information from Mateus Day something or other. I'll, I'll find the the videos I recommend and I'll link them, okay? If you want. Uh, I might not, I might forget, just ask, okay? So, I'm going to wear these glasses <laughs> going about when I'm walking for amusement purposes because the thing that's really bad, you get it through your eyes. And as long as you're breathing through your nose, and I'm going to be making a disclaimer here, once and for all. This isn't medical advice. This is not passes by your doctor and the CDC and the WHO while you're at it. What I'm telling you is strictly comedy because I'm a comedian. This isn't a category of comedy. I'm just kidding. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing glasses like this. <laughs> I'm hanging out with the likes of this. <laughs> And I'm telling you health advice. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear these and breathe through my nose. Just like doing yoga. And um, that's what I was going to tell you. Woo! Okay, okay. And learning the Shakti Cluster app. Yeah, the nose somehow is able to fend off the thing. And um, the breathing through the mouth is takes straight into the respiratory because your sinuses are naturally um, adept, adept. They're geared. They've all that little hair in there. And they're able to like get stuff. That's why you blow your nose. <laughs> Don't pick it unless you wrapped it with something, you know, like a tissue. Otherwise, you're going to jam stuff up there that shouldn't go up there, like bacteria. <laughs> so no, no, no. Blow your nose. Uh, when you go outside, breathe through your nose only. It's like yoga. But this is the biggie. Shakti Cluster app. When you, uh, I learned it, you can actually put it into your throat like it's a Reiki symbol. Because if you don't have it in your hand, I mean, what happens? If you, like, caught off guard, <laughs> you can train yourself to actually see it here. And once you, rec once you know who and what all the Mahavidyas are and the Dakinas, Dakinis, you basically channel in. So that let's say I need a Kajiti because I'm going by a 5G tower. That I'm going to use her because she protects me from that, that which comes from without. Listen to the Shakti Cluster app. I'll put the links below. And in that video of mine, which is a short one that where John's going straight into, please don't touch. Please don't touch the, the, the thing in your hand. Doing, 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 doing. <laughs> no. <laughs> what you do. <clears throat> I'm a cat. Oh, that's just got a fur ball almost. <laughs> you see that? I have hair. So you look at it with your intentional gaze. You look at it with your intentional gaze. You intend you ate. You look at it with your intentional gaze with your eyes. Um, the right eye is the eye of 
the will. When you want to uh, self-hypnotize yourself, you go into the mirror and you look at your right eye and you say, I am happy. I am love. I am connect. I am a child of the Mother Goddess. I am life. I am perfect health. I am what I am. And I don't like green eggs and ham. <laughs> so you look at it in um, with the intentional gaze, right? And you will command it. It's your console. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't have it in your hand, then you actually train and you actually will oftentimes looking at it with your left eye you look at it with your left eye and you take it in just take it in because that's your more of your soul spirit side and just meditate on it this is not the same as when you're going to load on and conduce okay this is strictly for the purpose of looking at the symbol so that then you invite it into the throat and that's where you uh, shoot it from. That's where you attenuate it from. Yeah. And um, this is fun, okay? So you are so empowered. It's always through the love you have for yourself that you can operate your own supernatural capabilities because that is the second of the Dakini's instructions. Love and the supernatural operate on the same frequency. Does it mean you have to be with a partner? No. <laughs> it means you love yourself. And you partner, you self-partner. And you heal, because this is what this is all about. So, I, I, I salute to all those who are really working with their whatever it is. This is a time to um, exactly let it go, you know, because it also is an opportunity to go into the darkness, like Persephone. You go in, it's very Jungian this, you go into the feeling and you understand what it is, but I discovered something really cool recently, and I felt that um, I was going to bring this into my practice. And that I had a physical experience of feeling something in my will center. So what I did was I went in there to find out what the information package was. Rather than trying to get rid of it like it was a block. You see? So when a person is being healed and you feel that block, what you don't want to do is um, remove it if it's an information package. This is what I discovered. You don't just like get rid of somebody's package. They basically don't recognize it because their body has become so numb by being in a building and in a car and not being outside that they don't actually um, recognize that sensation as, oh, that's an information package. <laughs> so just go meditate or something and, and allow it in. And um, I'm not giving medical advice. Everybody is different, but this is quite different from the usual... Um, Okay, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun with these. Woo! Yeah, ah. <laughs> You're like, what is this chick on? Um, or I, I've, I've come through my own dark, dark shadow. I, I went through it. I've, I'm, 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 upping the, I'm upping the game. I'm doing my thing. I'm really excited. Um, I just took this opportunity and uh, I, okay, I went out to the Mother Earth <laughs> and I connected my heart and then I did um, the Shakti cluster wrap in my throat and I moved it around and then it became the Thunderbird. Mission. Yeah. And I was like, wow, you can use it in your meditation. 
So you can use it, and I also like to use gold light. And as you can see, you know, the inner floret the, does have the color gold. <laughs> and you're blue, true blue baby. And then um, mother in it, she's divine gold. So gold, 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 gold is fabulous. Um, so all right, <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's, call, let's wrap it up, shall we? Um, I'm going to also tell you, I, I, I didn't finish because Operation Medusa, as you know, is to, I believe, we get the mask down so that everyone sees it, of whatever it's going to be, whatever it's going to be. Um, I figured that would be a very nice surprise. <laughs> That's what I'm like, you know? <laughs> I just feel like they wouldn't expect it, um, right? So I was just gonna say, syntax is really important um, when you make your intentionalities using the Shakti Cluster app. Yes, you don't ask, you command. So you, you're learning how to use it in mass for this very, very special event that's unprecedented, not just because of what's going on with the uh, pantomime, but what is actually happening with the energy of the earth because she's amping up and she's in correction. So she's giving us more information. That's when I, she gave me the information that when there is a pain in your, uh, or a, a sensation of a block, it's not necessarily, it's, a, it's an information package. So then when I got the information package, um, it was sort of like uh, a higher understanding of my current situation so that I, um, became energized again. I had, was in complete 100% anyway. Like, like walking around like this. <laughs> ah, not, not quite. I actually was not like that. No. But, um, despondency over the nerve. They took away our fun. So, yeah, we're still going to go underground. I asked my son, like, hey, how are you getting your hair cut? He's like, oh, we do underground haircuts. I'm like, okay, that's my clue. So what I was going to say is um, I did a video on duplicity, and that was from Kalika War Party, but not. Um, it, it, it was an article on it that John Lane Lash had done, and it was on his ultraculture.com site. And ultra is U-L-T-R-A, and culture is culture with a K. And... Um, I read it in the video, and uh, I'll link it, or say, uh, and it's, um, hold it, the glasses have to come on. <laughs> Kapow! I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> okay. Um, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> I can see all the world's a sunny day. Hey, I actually can sing. And I will get my guitar out for you one of these days, and we'll have, like, Saturday rainy day music. So, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I completely, oh, syntax, duplicity. So, get a thesaurus and start using, ugh, start using bigger words. And, um, duplicity it's just such a magical word because when you use one word that means so much, it's more powerful of an intention. Plus, it's very um, mind-opening. Better than sitting around doing crossword puzzles about pop culture. <laughs> okay, guys. I love you all. And then, um, you know, uh, some of you, and you know who, have been with me a very long time. And... Um, it's, this is the way we, we connect because our, most of us are isolated. But we're not. All right? Heart goes out to you. And remember, oh, you know what to do when it comes time to do it. I, you know what time. So, um, March 22nd is the last day of um, the current lunar calendar because it's the new moon. And it's also when the sun and, oh gosh, oh, something, something like goes direct with the sun. Does anybody know? Anyway, 
Operation Medusa. Woo!